What is going on, college football fans? It is K-Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with a brand new episode of It's All About the U, my Miami Hurricane rebuild, so to speak. In today's game, man, Miami is going to do battle against Maryland, which is a team on paper that just honestly shouldn't be able to even put up a fight. However, you know how it goes in the ACC. Any day, any given day, these teams will put up a fight, man. So I meet you guys at the coin toss. It's a little bit of fog in the air tonight on an otherwise beautiful Saturday evening down here in Miami Day. Maryland comes to town this week looking to play the role of spoiler, trying to upset the Canes, who started their season off with a loss and then rallied off nine straight victories in a row after that one. Miami will start today's festivities off with the ball. We get down to the field to see how things are going. Mark Walton, who is currently been spoke on in the top two or three in the Heisman race is definitely the way Miami wants to start this game off. They want to establish the run. If you get Walton out early, let him get a few carries, that opens up so much more for the Kings. They come out here and decide to go for it on fourth down early in this game. They pitch it to Walton. He's got the corner. He's got the first and more before being pushed out of bounds after a gain of about 15 yards. This is what this guy can do. You just give him the football, let him make plays. First and 10, Horan drops back, throws a pass over the middle, drops it perfectly over the head of a Maryland defender right into the hands of Clark. Big time pickup for Miami. They come back and go to the ground and look at Walton. Shedding tackles, trucking tacklers, falling forward for a tough six yard gain to put him in a short third and four situation. Horan drops back, bought as much time as possible, threw a beautiful pass to Lawrence Cager, but that drive will stall out. Miami would settle for three. Maryland's offense touches the field and they come out looking to catch the Canes completely off guard. They come out on first down and pass. Everyone was expecting a run. I was expecting a run. Maryland coming out trying to do something a little different. Going no huddle. Coming back, going read option right here. Jaquan Johnson in the backfield, bringing the quarterback down for a four yard loss. That's gonna put him in a third and seven situation where they would pick up the first. Later in that drive on second and 10, they drop back the pass again. The tight end is hit instantly. He's taken down for only a gain of two yards. They go back to the air, third and eight. They got to make something happen. Beautiful play by the Kane secondary. It looked like it was a small window of opportunity and then the Kane swept in and said, whap, whap, knocked that football down. Miami offense back on the field. Horn going to the air. Drops a beautiful pass over to Scott Jackson. Jackson gets him out past midfield before he's brought down after a gain of about 30 yards on the play. They come back, play action pass. Horn across the middle to Rice this time. That's another first and 10, 15 yard pickup. Now Miami's last game, it seemed like the passing game was wide open against Georgia Tech. They still did a great job of balancing things out, going to the ground when it was necessary. And it looks like that's the same game plan against Maryland. I mean, Walton is averaging four yards to pop and he still, uh, trust me, this is the type of running back that late in the game, he still got more in the tank as he finds the end zone right here with a five yard scamper. Walton is one of those players that seems to get better as the game goes on. He doesn't wear down. Like when the defense is tired, when you see the hands on the waist, Walton is begging for the ball. 10-0 Miami here in the second quarter. Maryland trying to do something, get anything, see what they got. They go to the ground, seven yard pickup. Ty Johnson, beautiful run. Maybe they need to try to run it more. Second down, they go to the ground again. Ty gets a block, bounces outside, throws a mean stem for him, and picks up 14 yards on the play. Woo! That stiff arm was crazy. That was on the free safety right there too. They come back and give it back to Ty. Ty is eating, that's another seven yard pickup. So they came out and tried to establish the pass. Ty Johnson is averaging nine yards to carry. They, they just might have something right here. They just might have something. Going no huddle, getting the guys back to the line of scrimmage. They're gonna hand it to Johnson again. Same play, it looks like Johnson puts the pill on the turf. Maryland appears to have recovered. We get another look at it, man. That's the back of Scott Patchen, who's played so big for this Miami team. 
Caught Johnson off guard, forced the fumble, but Maryland was able to recover. Third and short for Maryland. The pass goes up. Oh, I'm not sure how that wasn't picked. 48 was right there. We, hold up, folks. It's the flag on the play. Unnecessary roughness on Jaquan Johnson. We got to go back and see this one again. I didn't see it in real time. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Jaquan was just running through the play. You got to run through the play. At any rate, that penalty puts Maryland in great field position, and this drive continues. Ben Mitchell gets in right there, picks up about three on the play, comes back, runs another tough run for seven, and right outside the end zone. They can smell the paint. They smell the paint in the end zone. They line them up, no huddle, bringing them back to the line of scrimmage. Miami opted not to get a timeout. They like the personnel they got on the field. Let's see what they got. First and goal, Schaefer dodges the diving Ray Lewis Jr. Jr. Schaefer gets in the end zone. Maryland strikes. What a beautiful drive. And the crazy thing is most of that drive was, it was on the ground, which is crazy. Miami offense back on the field. Of course, they say, hey, we like y'all running the football. Let's see if we can run it too. They come out. They run until they face a third and five. They go empty backfield right here. Horn drops back, throws a quick strike over the rice. Rice gets the first down before being brought down. Eight-yard pickup. The drive continues. Three minutes on the clock before the half. Horn operating from the gun. This time hitting Clark on a quick little in route. He's going to pick up more yards after the catch. 13 yards on the play. First and 10 Miami. They go back to the ground. Walton's got green. He's got the edge. And he's got the speed. He gets in the end zone. Miami strikes again. That drive actually produced points faster than I think Miami even expecting it would. They go up 17 to seven, but it's still a ton of time on the clock. Maryland is looking to bounce back and show you that that last drive they had wasn't a fluke. They come back on first and 10, go to the air. Beautiful deflection, almost picked off. Patchen was right there, couldn't scoop it up. That's that tip drill. I know these guys practice that at least a couple of times a weekend practice. Big time hit delivered right there. Ben Mitchell got decapitated, but held on to the football. 36. Maryland comes out, goes screen. That's a big time stiff on by Mitchell. I'm not sure what happened to Ty Johnson, but Mitchell seems to be the back right now, and it was going good for him until right there. They end up having to punt it off. Miami's offense is back on the field, just under two minutes to go, and they go through the air. Scott Jackson, 20 yard pickup, first and 10 Miami. They come back. Horn drops back. Was looking for the screen. Maryland did a great job of taking the screen route away, but Lawrence Cajun was on a drag across the middle of the field. Great awareness by Horn to check out the screen, find another receiver, and get it to him. On that screen play, everybody drops back and looks for one read. Beautiful read. Walton bouncing outside. He could do it again, and he does. Walton back in the end zone. This is crazy. Miami's offense looks like they are ready to put up points in a hurry. That's another score. Folks, 24 to 7 is your score. And again, they score so fast that Maryland is going to get another possession before the dog going to have. This is crazy. They come out running Ben Mitchell. What happened to Ty Johnson, y'all? What happened to Ty? Ty was averaging like seven, eight yards a pop. And all of a sudden, we get Ben Mitchell every play. I'm not sure if it was an injury or what. But it don't seem to be hurting Maryland. We got another flag. It's another rough in the passer. People are going to start looking at this Miami defensive unit like they are dirty players. They keep doing this. This is probably the fifth or sixth ref in the pass a penalty on this defense this season. Jarvis Davenport, 11-yard pickup. That's the first and 10 for Maryland. Hey, Maryland's got time. It's still a minute on the clock. They're basically just outside of field goal range. They are looking to make some noise, and they get it back to start the second half. On first and 10, the big heavies get to the Schaefer. They sack him for an eight-yard loss. That's going to put him in a must-pass situation here on third down. Third and 11, Schaefer takes a shot to the sidelines. Beautiful catch by Edwards. He gets the foot in, falls out of bounds. First and 10, and they come back and go back to Edwards for a five-yard TD reception. Maryland offense is out here looking like they ain't afraid. They are not afraid. Two back-to-back -back drives, and with that last TD, Gage Schaefer is now the school's leading touchdown passer. That's crazy. 
they they out here breaking records on the canes. This is the second week in a row. So we finished the first half. Miami is completely in control. Almost 200 yards through the air, over 100 yards on the ground, and they're dominating in time of possession. But that one turnover actually led the points for Maryland. It's in a situation right now where Miami's defense needs to prove they can stop Maryland. I mean, I feel like Miami's pretty confident, but let's face it, the last two drives, Maryland's offenses came out and just marched down the field. They come out to start the third quarter off looking to do the same. They're moving the ball on the ground. They come back right here. I'm not sure what happened. Looked like it was a communication error. I don't know if Schaefer was trying to keep it. If the running back thought he was trying to hand it off, I don't know. But he falls down behind the line of scrimmage. They put him in a third and 19 situation. He drops back. He tries to go screen. That's Ray Lewis Jr. Jr. over there for the stop. Beautiful stop on the play. Ashley stopped him three yards in the backfield. That brings out the special teams. Walton and Miami's offense is back on the field, and that boy Walton looked like he got an energized battery in his back. He ain't slowing down at all. Second down for the Kings. This time Horn keeps it. He safely slides to the turf. We don't need Josh Horn going down with an injury. Still a 10-point game out here. Kings are in the red zone or just outside the red zone. When they hand it off to Walton, look at Walton. This dude is so physical, bro. So physical. Eight yards on that play. That's the play that probably should have picked up two. Second down and short. They're going to give it to Walton. He gets in the end zone again. That's like his third touchdown of the day. Folks, Miami's offense looks unstoppable. This defense, on the other hand, we got to get some things figured out over here. 31 to 14 is your score late in the third quarter. And Ben Mitchell is still gashing Miami's defense. I don't know who the starting back is. I don't know if it's Ty Johnson or Ben Mitchell. But they both are averaging way too many yards per carry against this Miami defense that we expect to be out here shutting down the run. They go back to Mitchell again. He's got room. He's bouncing around. He falls down after a gain of about nine. They go back late in that drive to Mitchell again, and Mitchell he keeping his feet so running. He picks up three yards on this play, but he is slow to get up. I don't know if this brings Ty Johnson back on. Ray Lewis Jr. also was taken off the field with a bit of an injury. Second down for Schaefer. He goes to the air. Beautiful catch by Lewis. The blocking is there. He falls forward. He's down around the 10-yard line. First and 10. They go to the air. They got Davenport wide open. I'm not sure if the Miami guys just didn't see him or what, but Jarvis Davenport was wide open. Beautiful pass. Maryland comes out and scores again. 31-21 is your score. Miami's offense don't look like they can be stopped, but Maryland's offense kind of don't look like they can be stopped either. Rice on the return, bounces outside. He's got some green. He's to the 30, the 25, 20, 15, and he's brought down right around the 10-yard line. That's a 89-yard kick return. Of course. You set the Canes offense up where this is going to be the easiest drive of the day. They've been looking unstoppable anyway. Surely they're going to convert this and why not give it back to Walton who gets in the end zone again. That's his fourth TD of the day. Just give this guy a Heisman already. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. 38-21 is the score here at the very end of the third quarter. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but Ben Mitchell is out for the game. He had a bruised sternum. He won't be back. Maryland's going to have to get creative on offense. Once again, I don't know where Ty Johnson went, but they're going to have to get creative. Somebody else is going to have to step up, make some plays, and it looks like it might force Maryland to pass the ball a lot more. And that's exactly what they're doing on this drive. They're setting up some nice plays, but I don't know if they got enough. What a stiff arm. First and 10 for the Terps. I see them out here moving the ball. Beautiful drive so far. The fourth quarter starts off. It's second down. They need six yards to pick up the first here. Schaefer drops back the pass. He throws one down the field. Oh, that should have been picked off. That should have been a pick. I think that's Justin Woods out there that got his hands on it. Probably was already thinking about what end zone celebration he was going to do and lost it. Big time hit over here on the sidelines. This drive should have been over. That should have been a pick. Instead, the drive continues. Play action pass. Schaefer throws one short. They're going to pick up the first. Way to check it down. Get a safe pass out there. Continue to drive at all means. They doing it. Second and goal from about the 10-yard line maybe. Let's see what they got. They hand it off. Martindale, this is a new back we haven't seen. He picks up about five on the play. He's brought down around the five-yard line. The drive continues. Third and goal. Schaefer wants to pass this thing in. 
and he won't get lucky again. Throws it in the vicinity of the Kane's defenders, and Knowles comes away with the INT. I'm not sure why they wasn't running. I don't know if they just don't have the confidence in Martindale. I don't know if they felt like the Miami secondary was soft or what, but they went for a pass in what I felt like was a run situation, and nobody scored for the remainder of the fourth quarter. It looked like Miami took their foot off the gas, and after probably having injuries for two of their running backs, Maryland just had nothing else. A big game for Mark Walton. Big game. Miami's offense looks like they're in their stride. It's going to be tough for any team you put on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage to stop this offense. 38-21 is your final score down here in Miami. I'm K Spade, the prospect, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, drop that like. If you knew and you want to see more, fam, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.